Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be recovering this Town Hall 10 rushed account, Chunkhammer. So Chunkhammer is a terribly rushed Town Hall 10. I introduced you guys last weekend. And um, it's going to take a lifetime of work to get this thing recovered, but we're going to try a little bit each and every day, or at least once a week or something like that. So I have two hours of my day set aside to do some boosts. I'm going to be boosting Barch because that is the best way to get Elixir, which is the main concern for us right now. We've got army camps we need to upgrade. We've got barracks that we need to upgrade. We've got the laboratory that we need to upgrade and laboratory research projects need to be done, as well as the lots of Dark Elixir that we're going to need. But we're going to focus on Elixir first. So it's going to be a big process, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and search for a base because I've got the time and I want to explain to you guys why this is so bad. So for those of you that know why rushing is bad, just bear with me. But for those of you that don't know why rushing is bad this is why because of a magical word a magical term called the loot penalty so i'm a town hall 10 i've got town hall 8 level troops so that means that i can only effectively raid town hall 8s you know what i'm saying so um that's two levels below me and that means that i only get about half of the loot that should be available. If a Town Hall 8's raiding a Town Hall 8 and say it's a uh, half a million golden elixir, if a Town Hall 10 attacks that same Town Hall 8 base, it's only gonna be worth maybe a quarter of a million golden elixir. So that's the struggle. Because of that loot penalty, we have to raid more often and we have to raid better bases or, or like lower bases. So we have to be, uh, it, it's hard. It's just, it's just tough, all right? There's not a lot of bases around there. Look at this beautiful, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm not that that's that's clearly an engineered base. Um <laughs> but anyway, I had one question. I'm going to go ahead and uh uh, uh address that now is uh, somebody asked me if um uh, if I'm going to be um engineering this base. And I think that it would be interesting to try to engineer it at least until it is uh, no longer a viable strategy in Clash of Clans. So for now, we're just going to be focusing on elixir upgrades using our gold for walls and traps and uh dark elixir for heroes and that's going to be the way it is for a while so anyway guys i'm going to go ahead and cut the recording here because you guys don't want to sit here and watch me search forever but i'm going to i'm going to barge for two hours and uh, hopefully we come out with a little bit of loot that we can spend so i will be back with you guys in just a moment <sighs> okay we are back it has been two hours of boosting as you can tell i've lost 60 gems and um i'm not entirely sure how much loot i gained i don't remember how much i had beforehand but it was definitely a, a few million gold and quite a bit of elixir i really prioritized the elixir and there weren't any raids that were of super consequence everything was 200,000. i don't think i had any 300,000s at all it has been a rough time trying to grab loot down here in the now silver league one but i do have a lot of loot to spend so we're going to spend it right now check it out <laughs> gym box popped up so let's go ahead and grab that we get 30 seconds now the first thing i need to focus on is the laboratory because the way it's been explained to me and the way i'm going to explain to you guys is the laboratory is the life blood of recovering a dead base i mean the whole point is it's hard to hit bases at your level and that's because of this building here so what do we need to upgrade, guys? Everything. Everything needs to be upgraded. But I'm going to start with the Barbarian. And here's why. Because I've been using Barch, and I'm going to continue using Barch until my queen is level 5. Now, I don't even have a queen, so we have a lot of time before that happens. And as soon as that does happen, we're going to need these healers to be maxed. And that's only a 3 million elixir upgrade anyway, so not that big of a deal, right? So anyway, we need to get this thing going. It's 4.5 million elixir for level 6 barbarians and it's a huge upgrade i mean look at the difference in the uh, hit points you gain 15 that's significant um and then adding uh, three damage per second and whenever you spawn 100 barbarians on a base that is a huge upgrade so let's go ahead and get that thing started we get 10 days before it's done and that's going to give me plenty of time to uh gather some more elixir but what else could we spend the elixir on i'm going to pop over to my progress base and we're going to discuss everything there is on the base. So the spell factory, 3.2 million, would unlock the clone spell. Big deal. I know there's ways to use it, but nothing of uh, that, nothing we need to use, you know. And then um, we're going to be adding uh, two spell storages. It's not that big of a deal, like I said. Uh, Dark spell factory still doesn't have the earthquake spell, but both of these are too expensive. And here's something to wrap your head around. Now that the, bar the barracks only unlock the new troops, they don't have anything to do with the training exactly you know necessarily you can you can assume 
that you only need to upgrade one barrack to unlock things. I want to unlock the baby dragon. I want to unlock the miner. I'm thinking that I can only upgrade or only need to upgrade one barrack to unlock them and use them fully. That's a theory. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, just something I thought about. Now, the same thing with the dark barracks. I need to unlock the golem. Then I need to unlock the uh, witch, lava hound. And then the... Um, what is it called? The bowler. I need to unlock all those things, but I don't have enough elixir for any of those. So what else do I have elixir for? Um, I definitely need to get all these new storages and collectors and mines upgraded. I also definitely need to get this new dark elixir drill upgraded and the existing ones upgraded. The dark elixir storage. All these things are too expensive. So we're going to have to spend our elixir on one of these or two of these buildings here. Uh, probably the, uh, the, the, well, actually we need to upgrade the elixir collector which costs gold so we're gonna unlock we're gonna go ahead and start this elixir collector now and the reason for that is because it is very important i think every single inch inch every single ounce of elixir that we can get for free is necessary so let's go ahead and start that we got two builders left and i'm going to be focusing primarily on walls which means i'm going to have a lot of, of gold to put in the walls and then i'm going to do two cheap trap upgrades just because and actually you know what let's go ahead and do this uh gold mine too so that means we've got one builder to fill with and the cheapest upgrade is the air bomb at twenty thousand gold so let's get these walls upgraded Three hundred thirty thousand. yeah we can handle that that's no big deal and uh, i'll move that way out of the way if we do all of these walls this is going to be huge guys all these walls is only one million one hundred seventy thousand gold so we'll go ahead and upgrade those that was nice and then what if we do all of these um to level six eight hundred twenty five thousand gold we got we got enough for that um but it, we won't be able to do them all so let's um let's actually I shouldn't move that one let's do them in order because i don't like have, having to having to rearrange things so uh we can handle more so let's pull out this many here come on buddy there we go uh how many how many loots is this? Uh, 1,425,000 gold. Awesome. So we're going to go to level 6, pink walls. You know how much I love pink walls, guys. So there we go. That is going to do it. Um, we could probably do... Um, well, we could do one more, but then we won't have enough gold for that air bomb. So let's go ahead and do the air bomb now. It is, like I said, the cheapest upgrade. 20,000 gold, 4 hours, and bam, there we go. We've used all three of our builders. We're able to start something in the laboratory, and we're upgrading a gold mine and the elixir collector like i said all the free loot that we can get is absolutely worth it guys so um that was my big loot spending spree i've got some actually i've got some loot in my treasury i forgot but it's only like 200 something thousand golden elixir so that's not really that big of a deal let's check out the base and uh look at the upgrade so the walls are looking a little bit better it's going to be a long time before they look good but they are looking better um we've also got um these where are the new um, the, the, there we go. Okay, we got both of these going for one day. So here's what I'm thinking is going to end up happening. I've got a clan mate that has uh, suggested that I probably get somebody else to help me with this account because it has been such a difficult thing. As you guys can see, really 200,000 elixir, less than 100 or less than 200,000, 275, 271, 283, 178. It has been so hard to get elixir and even harder to get dark elixir on this base that it's really going to take some elbow grease. It's going to take some time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take passion and blood and sweat and tears. That's what it's going to take. And I don't want to scare you guys. If you are rushed, it can be done. It can be recovered. It's just going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. I'm going to go ahead and search and maybe raid while I'm talking. But um, recovering a rush base is not impossible. It can be done. I want to encourage you guys because... Um, you know, it, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This process, this whole thing has sucked. I have, I have, um, I'm, I'm so used to my queen walk armies. I'm so used to my higher level troops. I'm so used to not being rushed that I have struggled so hard to, in order to get this loot. But guess what? I'm still getting it. I'm going to make it happen. We're going to recover this base. And every little step we take is going to get us that much closer to full recovery. And that's what's important, guys. That's what's important is that you understand that in order to eat the elephant, you've got to take it one bite at a time. It's going to be a long, long road. So I'm going to continue searching. Actually, I think that was a good one we could have taken, but I skipped it. So we're going to find us a base. We're going to do one more live and then call it a day, guys, because this rush to bay, rush to max or whatever this <laughs> series should be called, it, it it's uh, it's 
it's going to be largely the same stuff over and over again. So I want to definitely continue to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing upgrades wise, because uh, that really is the take home message. And the take home message is as you upgrade your base's offense, you become less rushed. The defenses aren't that important. And to be honest with you, of almost no consequence problem is if you have low defenses like this rushed account it will be very difficult to defend and keep your loot so it's going to take long play sessions where you don't take a defense and spending that loot before you take a defense in order for that base before in order for that loot to be used because once you go on defense it's going to die it's going to go bye bye so uh let's drop the king down there because the queen is down by the town hall um over on the uh bottom side of the base here and um just kind of spamming our troops around there is a lot of elixir in both this collector at the bottom and this collector at the top but because our our troops are so bad i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get it so let's just see what happens here my king is working hopefully he can tank some damage and let these archers take out the uh, town hall so there we go we got the town hall now the king is walking over toward the cannon and he gets shot down it doesn't look like we're gonna get much if anything out of that elixir collector and this one's like completely full we didn't get that either so that was not the best raid Sixty-seven thousand elixir guys and that happened a lot during this uh during this barge session session it's been rough but um guys i want to thank you all for watching i hope this video taught you something especially with what i'm focusing on i'm focusing on the laboratory guys so the next thing i'm hoping to upgrade is going to be the archers to level six that way our barch is at town hall nine level which is decent it's not bad um, and then I'm going to be hopefully getting the queen and getting her to level five as quickly as I can so that I can upgrade the healer to max. Um, another, another important troop would be the goblin because of the goblin knife. The higher the level the goblin knife or the goblin, the better. The more effective the goblin knife, essentially. Um, so if we can get the barbarian, the archer, the goblin, and the healer upgraded, then we'll be good to go. We've also got spells that need to be upgraded. That's kind of secondary because right now we're simply barching. And then if we end up with, uh, you know, some spare elixir or... Uh, if I'm going to be going on vacation for a while or something and we need to take a break from it, here is a six-day, four million elixir upgrade that needs to be done, taking the laboratory to level eight, unlocking several other upgrades as well. That's going to have to happen. Also, the, um, the spell factory, the dark spell factory, we got to get those upgraded for everything. And um, I would say the most pressing thing on the base currently besides the laboratory is getting the queen. So uh, we're going to be working on that for sure dark elixir time we got 40,000 dark elixir that we need and we have 29,700 plus a little bit in the loot so we got about 10,000 dark elixir left before we can get the archer queen I promise I won't do that on my own I will show you that process because it is a lot of fun a lot of fun dropping that arch queen level one seeing that baby arch queen running around it's a lot of fun guys and I will be queen walking with my archer queen earlier than with my main account I feel like I'm I'm a uh, I'm experienced enough with the queen walk to be able to do it. So be looking forward to some baby queen walk action on this series or on this channel in this series. It's going to be amazing. But anyway, guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it and if you learned something. And subscribe if you haven't joined the Klaus family. And I will see you guys again next time.